a $400,000 Rolls Royce. And a man was able to steal it in a matter of seconds at a popular Buckhead hotel. Channel 2 investigative reporter Ashley Lincoln breaks down the steps the car owners took to get their stolen car back. Yeah, the couple tells us they were frustrated because they weren't getting any answers from the hotel, so they had to file legal paperwork in order to get a subpoena just to get this surveillance video to find out what happened. It was a dream car Scott Ware says he's worked years to get. As the owner of a concrete company, he says he only had this Rolls Royce truck for two months before it was stolen from a Buckhead hotel. I mean, it was unbelievable. Ware says he and his wife were staying at the Thompson Hotel to celebrate their anniversary. When it was time to check out, they waited more than an hour, only for valet to tell them they couldn't find their truck. It's negligence on both the hotel and on last. The Wares had to file a lawsuit for a subpoena just to get this surveillance video from the hotel. They didn't really want to give us the video. The valet driver wearing all black is seen walking up to the passenger side of this Cadillac. He walks around to the driver, the man in the white shirt, and hands him keys to Ware's Rolls Royce. The man gets in the Rolls Royce, starts it, and drives off. You see somebody actually handing them the keys to your car, and they look back and they get in the car and drive off. And it's, it's like the nerve of somebody. The Ware's confronted the valet driver the next day. So what's our procedures? Ware says they were able to track the car to Best Road in College Park before the thieves disabled the GPS. Months later, after searching on social media, Ware saw this video from a man posting his car in Houston, Texas. Ware knew the car was his because of its unique interior. It's a Charles Blue, which is a new interior. Okay, so that's how you knew it was yep, your car. exactly. They contacted Houston police. The man was arrested and Ware's vehicle was located. But he says they changed both the plates and the rims on the truck. I reached out to the Thompson Hotel to see if they still contract last parking for valet services. We're waiting a response. Last parking has not responded to our questions. I don't know what's the end solution for it, but they need to do something to protect the citizens. And we do know at least one person has been arrested down in Houston related to this case. So far, no arrests have been made here in Atlanta. Reporting in Buckhead, Ashley Lincoln, Channel 2 Action News.